Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and I'm in my new beauty room. I could not be more excited. This is my first video in my new house. I'm sure it probably looks pretty much the same to you because it's the same shelf behind me, but the space is a lot bigger. I'm gonna be a lot better organized in here. It's brighter, it's quieter. It's just such a good feeling to finally be moving into the space, using this space to film and take photos. Can we just count my new house, my new beauty room as my first favorite? This is my August favorites video. You guys know if you've watched me for a while, I do favorites every month, kind of went out of style. I think it's coming back in style here on YouTube, but I just like sharing my favorites. I like talking about the things that I've genuinely been enjoying through the month. It's usually a mix of new and old things. Sometimes there are rediscovered favorites. Sometimes it's newly discovered favorites, product combos that I've been enjoying, books, you know, new studios, nail polishes. We just share everything. First August favorite is this new house. I have been here for about a week now. So all the videos that you saw probably the past like five or six videos were pre-filmed and edited and posted while I was in the process of moving. Let's start off with my favorite book from this month. I don't always include a book. I only share things when I read things that I really, really liked, really enjoyed. Of course, I have not unpacked my books yet, so I'll show you a picture of the cover here and we'll just pretend that I'm holding it. This book is called Love and Other Words. It's by Christina Lauren. Christina Lauren is actually a pen name for two authors, two women who are friends and they write books together. I've read quite a few of their books and I really have liked most of them, but something about this book just like got me right in the feelings. You know what I mean? I couldn't stop thinking about it while I was reading it. I devoured it really, really quickly. I definitely cried at least once or twice while I was reading it. I think I say that about every book. Books make me cry, okay? I have so many feelings. So this is, you know, a love kind of romancy book. It's not really racy. There are some like semi-adult scenes, but it's not really centered around that. It's definitely about this complex relationship between the two main characters. It goes back and forth between present time and past. I thought it was beautifully written. If you like sort of mushy love stories that might make you cry, then definitely check this book out. Let's talk about my favorite nail polish of the month. This polish, honestly, it was just the MVP. This is from Essie, it's called Of Quartz. And this is what I have on my nails right now. And I'll tell you why I say this polish is the MVP. While I've been packing, moving, unpacking, ripping tape off of boxes, I had been previously wearing a different nail polish. It was also an Essie nail polish and my nails were just wrecked. So in preparation for filming this video, of course I was gonna paint my nails. I like to have my nice pretty nails for my videos and I can't find my nail polish remover. <laughs> Haven't unpacked that yet. So I just kind of, you know, a polish and a prayer. I put this on top and this is on top of some super chipped, just horrific looking nail polish. Put this over top, two coats. And I mean, I think my nails look pretty darn good. You don't want to inspect them too closely because they're definitely not perfect. I was shocked and very happily surprised by how well this polish came through in the clutch for me. Thank you, Essie. All right, let's talk about a face favorite. This is a very unexpected favorite for me. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Radiant Concealer. First of all, you're probably looking at this concealer and saying, that's way too dark for you. Well, that's what I thought too, <laughs> because I ordered this online. I took it out and I was like, ah, oh, crap. I guess I just wasn't thinking because I ordered the same shade that I wear in the foundation. And obviously that was just my bonehead move. But then I got to thinking, you know, if this is my foundation color, maybe I can wear this as foundation because I like to do that with my Too Faced Born This Way super coverage. Guys, that's what I've been doing. I've been wearing this as my foundation 
for at least three weeks. Almost every single video that I posted in August, I was wearing this as my foundation and then I just used a lighter concealer shade for my under eyes and just a little bit of those highlight areas. This just wears so beautifully on the skin. It has a nice medium coverage. It looks very natural and skin-like. I'm super happy with this. I had a feeling that I was going to like this as a concealer because I loved the Double Wear Nude Water Fresh foundation. So when I saw that they came out with a radiant concealer, I was excited for that. But I didn't expect to love this as a foundation. So my dry skin friends out there, I think this is worth a try for sure. It has this big giant doe foot, which actually makes it great for applying all over the face. Was a little disappointed that I got the wrong shade, but it ended up being just the right shade. Just had to look at it differently. Who is this positive goddess of no anxiety. I'm just telling you, living in this new house, it's like a whole new me. I love it. It's so peaceful here, you know? Feel relaxed. If you ever lived somewhere that wasn't peaceful and you didn't feel relaxed, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Another face favorite, I'm pretty sure this has been in my face favorites before, but I don't care, it was my favorite, so here it is again. This is the Persona Cali Glow Highlighter in the shade Laguna. Sometimes I mix Zuma and Laguna, but I've basically just been wearing this one. It is the highlight I have on my face today, and hi, hello. Highlighter is just glowing, stunning. These highlighters are so underrated. I'm pretty sure they were in my best of the year last year. I'm just gonna keep talking about them because they're gonna keep being amazing. I believe there are three shades. There's this one, which is the lightest, Zuma, which is the medium shade. It's kind of like a golden shade. And then there is a bronzy highlighter as well. I forget what that one's called. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't actually wear that one. It's too deep for my skin tone. But regardless, these are so good. When something keeps coming back up in my favorites over and over again, I think there's really something to be said for that. And these Persona highlighters definitely fit into that category. Okay, let's talk about eyes. I have one palette and then one ColourPop Jelly Mud shadow to talk about. This is from the Strawberry Shake collection. I was a really big fan of that whole collection. And particularly, I love the Jelly Mush shadow. I was thrilled to see some new Jelly Mush shades. This is the shade Strawberry Jam. There's also a really bright, like, pinky red one called Strawberry Jelly. But Strawberry Jam has been my jam. Okay, I'll see myself out now. This color is so pretty. It's like a reddish gold. I just love the way it looks on the lids. I'm a huge fan of the Jelly Much shadows in general. I love the formula. Just look at that color. Look how pretty that is. Oh, it's so gorgeous. And this pairs really, really beautifully with my next favorite that I want to share. And that is this beauty. This is the Remedy eyeshadow palette from Beauty by Stoney. I just love this. I was raving about this in my indie beauty haul from the makeup show. So many people were asking for a dedicated video on this. I definitely want to do that. This palette is so gorgeous. I've been taking the first two columns and pairing them with this Jelly Much and I love the looks I've been getting. So for example, I'll take like some of these colors paired with this Jelly Mud shadow. If that's just not like a toasty summer to fall little combo right there, I don't know what is. I, oof, I love it. Look how gorgeous those are. This palette is only $15. It's so good, it's so pretty. So I know this is a major spoiler alert because I do wanna do a dedicated video on this, but just know this palette is amazing. It's so good. It's so pretty. I love it. I love it. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to calm down now. Probably. Possibly. I have two lip favorites. One is from ColourPop and one is from NARS. This is from the Just a Tint Lippy Tint line from ColourPop. I did do a whole lip swatch video about this line. I'm not ignoring you. I'm just swatching on my hand. This is my favorite shade. It is the shade I'm wearing on my lips today. 
This one's called Give Me S'more. Who knew? A medium warm nude. Literally every one of my lip favorites. I've been carrying this around in my bag since we've been so busy moving and unpacking. My makeup has been pretty minimal. I've been really rocking the just concealer on my face, chipped nail polish type of look. And this is such an easy like throw in the bag, throw on. You can wear this with no other makeup on and it looks really good and subtle. It feels hydrating. I love this one. And my other lip favorite became a favorite for the exact same reason. NARS just reformulated and repackaged all their lipsticks. I also did a video on these and I told you a few of my favorite shades. After lip swatching all of them, I shared a couple of my favorite shades. And this one actually wasn't one of my favorites in that video. This is the shade Chelsea Girls. This is just like a sheer pinky kind of color. So that's Chelsea Girls, that's Give Me Some More. And initially I just thought, eh, whatever, you know, it's just like a sheer pale pinky color, like that's not really what I'm into. When it comes to new lipsticks coming out, I almost always like a like warm medium nude or like a deeper berry, sometimes a red if it's a perfect red. But this one didn't really catch my attention. I just started grabbing this because I wanted something that was easy to throw on and looked good with just super minimal makeup. And I kind of fell in love with this one. You know, I always love to hear about what you guys have been enjoying during the month too, whether it was books or nail polishes or skincare or songs or anything at all. It doesn't have to be just makeup. Anything that you love this month, I want to hear about it so that we can all go and check out your favorites too. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, almost dropped it all. <laughs> Some things never change. New space, same gluts. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. And by fun, I mean not fun. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm so weird. Nailed it. <laughs> oh, that was dumb. I'm never going to do that again. I'm sorry. My son started saying nailed it, but he says mailed it. I say that all the time now. I'm like, mailed it. <laughs> it's cuter when he does it though. I just sound like I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> So, you know, anyway, sir, focus. These colors, oh, these are so pretty. I can't even deal with this. Thank goodness I just unpacked some makeup wipes because I started swatching all that stuff without even thinking about it. So yeah, did I just break it? Ugh, what a dummy. I just dug my nail right into that shadow, sorry. Spoiler, spoiler, la, 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 la. <laughs> uh, <well. laughs> New space, same screw ups. <laughs> what do you think of this eyeshadow? I'm about to do a video about this palette. Uh, uh, uh. I was worried that it was going to be really echoey in here because this is a way bigger room and it's like all wood floors, but I have so many piles of boxes <laughs> that I think it's. It's taking care of that for me, so. Mailed it. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. I'm gonna try to get another video filmed so that I can hopefully get something. What? What am I even talking about? Okay. <laughs> uh, Alright. Okay, bye-bye.